A feud has broken out among the family of former President Ronald Reagan, who would have turned 100 next month. To mark that occasion, both his sons, Ron Jr. and Michael, have written books, but each has a very different take on their father's legacy and also on his health while still in office. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has more. In his new book, My Father at 100, Ron Reagan, the youngest son of former President Ronald Reagan, claims his father exhibited signs of Alzheimer's three years into his first term, long before doctors diagnosed Mr. Reagan with a memory-robbing disease five years after he left office. Knowing what we know now about the nature of Alzheimer's disease, we know that decades ahead of you know, symptoms arriving, changes are happening in the brain. But in this great society of ours, wouldn't... Ron Reagan says he was alarmed by his father's performance the in the 1984 presidential debate with Democratic challenger Walter Mondale. The system is still where it was with regard to... Uh, the... Uh, Reagan writes of that day, my heart sank as he floundered his way through his responses, fumbling with his notes, uncharacteristically lost for words. Nancy Reagan has not publicly commented on the claim made by her son, but the Ronald Reagan Presidential Foundation, which has ties to the former first lady, issued a statement saying Alzheimer's did not appear until well after President Reagan left the White House. Bill Plant, CBS News, the White House.